Welcome to part 3 of the Smart Chain Connection tutorial of the installation of Zabbix and Grafana server on Ubuntu 20.04. Here we will install and configure the Zabbix agents on the Elrond network nodes we plan to monitor. Okay, we're going to be running through the commands that are given in the description below and I'll explain what each one of them do um, as needed. So here we go. We're going to start off by downloading the latest Zavix package, just like we did on the server. This time it'll be on the agents with the same package, but we're using the same uh, same package from the same release and everything. Next, we're going to do an update to let App to know that there's a new package to install. And here we install Zavix agent. Now we're going to edit the configuration file. And you'll press Control W to bring up the search and you'll paste in the attribute that you're wanting to edit. This time we're doing server. We're going to put in the address of our main Zabbix server here in these agents. We're going to do that for server and active and server active. We're going to make those both the public IP address of the Zabbix server. And next for hostname, we're just going to change the hostname here, and this is important, to the name of the machine here this this node or this computer um, and we're going to let Zabbix server know what we named these agents so they need that to be exact. Now we're going to restart Zabbix agent And you can see that it is active and running. Okay, that was our first agent. And now we're going to move on to our second agent. And we're going to run through the same commands. We're going to download the repository and uh, install it. Edit the configuration file just like we did before, and you would just do the same thing for any number of agents that you're going to be monitoring. Again, that's Control W to activate the search bar, and you can right click to paste in whatever you're searching for. And we're just going to be making changes to three attributes, the server, the act server active, and the host name. Uh, the first two are the IP address of your Zabbix server, and the last one is um, just as important. It is the host name of this machine that you'll be telling Zabbix server about this agent to be monitoring. We're going to restart this agent, check on the status, active and running, press Q to get out of that little box, and we're going to reboot these servers. Next we're going to come back to the main Zabbix server. And we're going to use the nmap utility to check and see if the ports are open and receiving uh, for these agents. And that is port 10,050. 
um, we run that on for both the IP addresses of the nodes and it shows that it's closed for both of those. And so we need to come back over to both of these nodes and we need to do a system or a restart on the uh, Zabbix agents themselves. When we rebooted them, it did not come back up. The Zabbix agent did not come back up. So after reboot, you do need to check on the status of your agents and, uh, and restart those if, if they are not act, uh, active for whatever reason. So if you do an in-map and show that it's closed, um, try a re restart on your agent and then uh, run it again and you should come back and it should say open just like that. Upon further review, I found that the reason that Zabbix agent did not restart when I rebooted the machine was because I did not run the system CTL enable command. This command causes Zabbix agent to restart with the machine. So let's go ahead and run that now and, and test this idea. Okay. So now we're going to sudo reboot again. Okay. So now we've rebooted our machine. Let's go ahead and uh, run this command again. Get the status and we are active and running and that, uh, Start it up again after reboot. And just to verify everything, let's run our nmap command again from our server. And here we are in the open state. 